Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is third grade, module seven, lesson 28. In this lesson, students are gonna be bringing it all home. They're gonna be practicing area and perimeter in a variety of different contexts, uh, all with word problems. It's really bringing it all home. So parents and teachers, really our job is to help students keep in their mind the difference between area and perimeter. Classically, we say perimeter is the distance around the figure, uh, but and then area is the number of tiles necessary to completely fill in that rectangle. So uh, that's uh, really what we're trying to do is help our students keep those two things uh, in mind and understand the difference between the two. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm going to go pretty quick. Parents and teachers and students, feel free to you know hit that little pause button uh, if I go too fast. And so Carl draws a square. All right, that's the important thing there. He draws a square that has side lengths of seven. Estimate to draw. All right, so I will draw his little square right there, and we're going to zoom in. Whoa, my goodness, what happened? Oh, there it is. <laughs> and we're going to seven centimeters. Seven centimeters, seven centimeters, and seven centimeters, because we're supposed to draw a square. It says label the side lengths, so I did. What is the area? Well, the area, remember, is length times width, so I'm going to use the little dot. That means multiply. So seven times seven is 49, so it's 49 squares. So if the uh, square centimeters, so really, if we were going to draw this, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it would be seven squares going this way, seven squares this way, and if we were to count all the little squares, there would, of course, be 49. And what is the perimeter? Well, remember, a perimeter is two times the length plus the width. So you add seven plus seven, that gives you 14. And then we're going to times that by 2, and that gives us 28 centimeters. So the distance around that rectangle, the distance around that rectangle, if we were going to add, it would be 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 is, f uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, 28. And let's see, Carl draws two of these squares to make one long rectangle. So here's one and here is another. What is the perimeter of this new rectangle? So keep in mind that's a seven. This distance here is a seven. This distance here is a seven. Seven, seven, and seven. So if we wanted to know the perimeter of this entire rectangle, um, one cool way to do it because of this the uni uniqueness of this problem is we can say that there's one two three four five six six sevens being added so the perimeter on this case is six copies of seven which is 42 centimeters of course there's other ways we could have gotten the perimeter on this one but um this quick one uh parents and teachers the one to pay attention to is some students might want to add in an extra seven, possibly even an extra two sevens, uh, but that's not part of the perimeter. The perimeter is only on the outside, and there are six copies of the seven for a perimeter of 42. So here, Mr. Briggs puts food for the class on a rectangular table. The table has a perimeter of 18, and a width of three. So we're supposed to draw that table. So the idea would be, well, we know the rectangular table, well, there's a rectangle, and we're told that this length here is three feet, which means this length here is three feet. We don't know what this length is, but we know it's the same as this length. And we know that if we add Oops, if we add this whole thing all the way around, we're going to get 18. So another way to think of that is we could say x plus x 
plus 3 plus 3 equals 18. Well, 3 plus 3, that's 6. So that means x plus 6, I mean, sorry, x plus x has to be 12. And how is that true? Well, because 12 plus 6 has to equal 18. So if we know this part is equal to 6, that means this part has to equal 12. So x plus x has to equal 12. So this length plus this length has to equal 12. Well, that means each one of those has to be a 6. And so now we know that the lengths are 6 feet, 6 <laughs> feet, and the widths are 3, or vice versa, I guess they, yeah, and uh, lengths and widths, those are kind of interchangeable, aren't they? So what is the length? Length is 6 feet. And what is the area of this table? Well, remember, area is length times width. In this case, it's going to be 3 times 6, which is 18 feet, 18 square feet, which is actually kind of cool because the coincidentally, the area and the perimeter have the same number. They both are 18, uh, but one is 18 feet while the other is 18 square feet, and that's because we're counting tiles, right? We're counting squares for the area. And the last one, Mr. Briggs puts three of these tables side by side to make one long table. So I guess what they're saying is we've got three by six, another three by six, and another three by six. So this is three, and this is six, and this is six, and this is six. And if we're finding the area of that rectangle, so that means it's going to be length times width, which is 3 times 18, because this is 18. And so the area is 54 square feet. So there's 54 squares necessary, little tiles, 54 square tiles necessary to make this big old long table. Now parents and teachers, heads up, if, if your students chose to line them up this way, in which case this is three, this is three, this is three, and this is six. Well, now the area, let's see, what is the area going to be? It's going to be length times width, which is now nine times six, which is 54 square feet. Isn't that interesting that it's the same area even though you've arranged the tables differently. Here we made one big long banquet table. Here we still made a table but it's more um, closer to a square actually because it's nine by six, isn't it? You get the exact same answer but students might be a little bit confused and quite frankly regardless of how they your students interpret it, um, that's okay. We don't all have to agree on this picture or this picture, as long as your students are understanding area. And that wraps up third grade, module seven, lesson 28, bringing it all home, studying area and perimeter.